Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for stopping by. And this is the first in the Oncidium series, following on from the Phalaenopsis series. And this is week where we get our we've got our plants home, and we get them out and take a better look at them. So uh, these are the two plants I chose. Um, got yesterday at the Welsh Orchid Festival from Speciotic Plants. And, um, We'll get them out and see what we've got, one at a time. We've got some water in the bottom of the bag. I'll live with that. So um, this one's actually got a name. We'll get to it in a minute. Let's just get some uh, packaging off and we'll see what the plant looks like. As I said, I did these exactly the same as the Phalaenopsis. Pretty blooms. Did, did no other checks. Didn't look at the pot, in the pot, look at the plant. Nothing. Just looked at the blooms and thought, I'll have that one. So this is the start point. First of all, we have a label. This is on Sidium Catrin Zoc. Oh, God. <laughs> Mike, I suspect that says. I'll have to look that up, because if it is a registered name, then um, obviously I can look it up. Um, but that's the tag I got. And um, you can't really call this a store-bought orchid, although it's the sort of orchid that the stores may have. Um, but nonetheless, at least this time I've got a name. This cost me £16. Um, we've got some blooms that are going over. Um, that, that could be travel damage. It could be, just be that it's their time. So I'm just going to trim those because obviously they'll spoil the look. Right, now let's see what we've actually got here. Um, there's plenty of spikes to come on here. Now what we've got here is this is a new growth. It has one, two, that one's broken, that one's damaged. That's a shame. Th well, there's another one here. So that's got spikes and another one there. So that's got three spikes to come, that growth there. And coming round here, which is good, because that growth is on that side of the plant. This, probably two, maybe three new growths are on this side of the plant. So there's very little, I'll see if I can tip it up. If you look in the centre, there's very little old plant here. It's nearly all new growths. So I'd suggest this is pretty vigorous. Yeah. Otherwise you'd have more old growths growth than new. So this may have a similar vigour to uh, uh, there. My Sotoannum. Similarities in look too. So coming round here, this this growth here has got one, two, three, four spikes on it. This growth tucked in there is going to be difficult to even count, but it's certainly got one coming. Um, this has got one bordering on open. So where are all the open spikes coming from? Ah, oh, they seem to be coming more from round here. So on this growth, we've got one two, three, four, five spikes on that one. So this is vigorous. That's good. Very delicate blooms. Bug check. Always look underneath the leaves, just not on the top. Have a look round. Just have a good look. Any little white specks or black specks, take a closer look. <laughs> In this case, I think we're looking at dust. And um, talking to the guy from um, Speciotic Plants, um, a lot of their plants are kept in a place where they can be put under the hose for watering purposes but like he said they, they don't do that all the time and the downside is you, you can get some calcium deposits because obviously if it comes out of the hose it's probably tap water but that's a nice looking plant um, I'm not going to take it out of the pot now because the what's in my pot will be the next video a few spots very few on some of the leaves now on an Oncidium, that's not really a worry. That's a quality plant. Um, it's had some uh, tidying up done. Yeah, somebody's actually that's been cut with a pair of scissors, and um, so that pro probably that leaf was starting to yellow and go brown. Um, so for selling purposes, you tidy them up. You know, it's not it's not a dramatic major problem. I've got a lot more spikes on here unopened than opened. And looking, they're also branching spikes, so they're capable of branching, so not just single stem. 
Um, some of the newer spikes that aren't open yet have been staked up. Some of them are still in younger stages. So, good plant. Well pleased with that. Well pleased. Oh, I just thought I spotted a bug, but no. So we see no bugs. That doesn't mean to say we haven't got like slugs or snails in the pot. But as I said, this video is not about getting them out of the pot. It's the first it proper inspection, having got it home. Um, I do notice it's in mainly that um, cocoa uh, fibrous husky stuff. It's got some lumps in it, so it's not all fibrous. And we'll see what sort of root system we've got in the next video. So that, that's plant one. Pleased. Very pleased. Um, but there again, given where I got it from, I was expecting to be pleased. <laughs> Let's keep the tag with the plant. I've got a memory like a sieve, especially with new plants. After I've handled a plant quite a few times and watered it and looked at it, put it in a video, talked about it, the plant name eventually sticks. But with new plants, I'm afraid it doesn't. <coughs> rubbish out of the way. Clear that in a minute. First, first thing I notice on this plant is the media is soaking wet and it is again this fibrous stuff but it's loose, it's not packed in tight so I'd say oh, we've got a little spider, that sort of bug's allowed, you can stay I thought I saw a web there <laughs> if ever you see a web and you can't see a spider, check for spider mites <laughs> and if you've got webbing with spider mites you've got a problem because it means they're really established they don't start making webs until there's an awful lot of them so this one is classed as a, a Cambria, and I can't actually read that. What I might need to do is go either, I'll, I'll go online, and because um, I can't really read that. It's classed as a Cambria, which doesn't really z exist anymore, and it looks like Renaissance something. C-O-L-N, I don't know. Not too good at reading that this handwriting, I must admit. Now, this plant was £15. So that's our two oncidiums. Now what we've got here is far fewer bulbs. This is a, a younger plant, possibly a division. The staking of the bloom spikes has also served a purpose. It's stopping the plant wobbling, which I notice is possible. This might not have a good root system, but we'll wait and see. Um, beautiful blooms on this. Um, Non-branching spikes, but really sturdy spikes. And it looks like the type that's only ever going to have one spike per bulb. Yeah? That tends to happen the larger the flowers, quite honestly. In the Oncidium Alliance, um, this is an intergeneric of some sort. I might even be able to find out exactly what's in this. We will try, but that's at a later date. That will be the end of the series, not the beginning. We'll be trying to find out what it's really called and is it registered and all that stuff. But, yeah. It's, it, it's a nice looking plant, a few spots, I've got a very, very damaged leaf there, leaf there. Um, but that is on the only bulb without a spike, so that will be the oldest bulb probably, so they'll be the first leaves to drop, I'm not particularly worried about that. No bugs that I can see apart from my little spider friend who's allowed to stay, when you're that size you are. If you, if you come out and you're covering the top of the pot you ain't going to last long, <laughs> I do not like large spiders. I tolerate the smaller ones simply because you know they, they, they can do no harm. They do more good than harm. So not a bad plant. Um, given its type, I would say there's Odontoglossum in it, looking at those blooms. And uh, yeah, quite pleased. I've bought a lot worse, but I do have a few suspicions about what's going to be down in the pot. We will find out soon in the next video coming soon. So that's our two plants. Um, before I post the video I will have had a chance to look at these tags in a little bit more detail and um, if I can find genuine names for these I'll post them in the video. So that's part one and um, we'll progress from there and talk about what's in the pot. That's the next video. Then we'll repot them, pot them up. We won't worry about the fact it's got spikes on. We, In this case we won't worry about the fact that there's no new growth showing as such and therefore probably no new roots. We won't worry about that this time round because 
I don't want to leave this in that pot. If I lift that out and it's got a really good root system, I might just put it back in, in this case only, because I haven't got new growths and new roots, and I'm probably not going to get any until these blooms are over. So that's a decision to go down the line. The same may apply for the other one. I don't like this media personally, although there's nothing wrong with it. Um, but it needs caution depending on your environment. It really does. Um, it stays wet a long time. So if you've got a cooler environment with not much air movement, you could class your pot as being soggy. And that's not going to do oncidium roots any good at all. They need air around them um, to a degree. Um, not as much as Catley is perhaps, but they still need some air around the roots. And this stuff can compact. Um, this stuff is brilliant watered from the bottom because it soaks really well. So if you stood that in an inch of water, you know, 15, 20 minutes later, the whole pot will be full of water. But therein lies the problem. It'll be full of water. <laughs> you can't gently water this media. It's either soaking wet, and then eventually it does dry out, but it, it's a slow process, certainly in cool temperatures. So we'll see if we can get some names, get them into the video in part one. And I'll see you in part two for what's in my pot. <laughs> Fingers crossed, <laughs> as we always do. Thanks for dropping by. See you next time.